Hey, welcome back to Good Morning Vale. I've got uh, Randy Brott with the Vale Police Department coming in the studio. We're going to give you details about um, what it's like to be out there on the roads in the wintertime, the proper tires, tread safety, and so much more. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Thanks for having Good to me. See you. You're all Likewise. bundled up today. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Always on duty. Always on duty. What time do you get going in the morning? Uh, I usually work night shift. So this is a, so like what's a, a night shift? This is, is an anomaly like? for me. I, my normal shift is 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. So, but making wow. it a special exception for you guys this morning. Well, thank you for coming in. Absolutely, happy to be um, here. So we're kind of getting towards, obviously towards winter time, yeah. and it's time for people to start <laughs> thinking more about their tires because exactly. it's imperative. Um, we see a, we've seen a lot of changes over the years with traction laws and all these different enforcement things coming right. from from the state and. Um, it's a good information to let people know about. So first, let's talk about um, the Tread Safe campaign. Absolutely. So the Operation Tread Safe campaign uh, started a number of years ago. It's a cooperative effort, uh, sort of initiated by the Colorado Department of Transportation, assisted by Colorado State Patrol, uh, the Vail Police Department, Avon Police Department, and then the Summit County Sheriff's Office have all gotten on board, obviously, with Vail Pass and then the approach to the Eisenhower Tunnel. So it's been an effort to educate the public. Uh, we'd always rather educate than enforce, uh, right. but we'll enforce when necessary. Um, so the Tread Safe, it's really just about awareness, raising awareness about your tires and and what is required because it takes one one vehicle that does not have, I think, proper treads on their car That's to ruin it for everybody and to cause a lot of problems. Exactly right. I should have double checked the statistics that CDOT did. They did a study a couple of years ago, kind of prior, it was the genesis of the Operation Tread Safe campaign, that it's not commercial vehicles that are causing the problems on our roadways during the wintertime, it's passenger vehicles and inadequate equipment, specifically tires on the roadways when we get snow slush and ice buildup. Right. So give me the details now, because this is a good one for people to understand. The traction laws. Sure. Um, and you were talking about, um, Traction fifth, that law fifteen sixteen whatever right you call it. so Code that, 15, yeah 16? right so the, 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 the codes are <laughs> um, that's C dot language how they implement the different um, traction laws and chain laws so the two that, that specifically apply to passenger vehicles are Code fifteen you might see that on the variable message signboards over the, over I seventy from time to time in Code sixteen okay. so what Code fifteen pertains to it it's called the traction law and that is basically an equipment requirement for passenger vehicles um, when navigating the you know in, during inclement weather uh, code 15 is a require equipment requirement standard for two-wheel drive vehicles and then four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive vehicles so a two-wheel drive vehicle is required to have a winter rated tire okay so it's the specific there's a little um i don't know if we have a picture of that there's we have some photographs we'll okay bring those up yeah here. there's a, a a little winter symbol and, and looks like mountains and snowflakes we're on the, get, uh, that's the quarter test. That's we're gonna, the quarter test. We're, we're going to talk that. about that next, but let's go to the next photograph. There we that, go. There you go. Yeah, the, so that if that symbol is indicated on your tire, then you have a winter rated tire. Okay. And you're fine with a two wheel drive vehicle as long as those are on the drive, drive wheels. And as long as you have enough tread pattern, enough it, tread. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, and the requirement for all wheel drive vehicles and four wheel drive vehicles is a mud and snow or all season rated tire. Okay. So I think we have a picture of that. It's an M plus S is kind of what the symbol looks like. It molded onto the side of the tire. Uh, there it is right there. Um, mud and snow. Mud, I never knew that. Mud and snow. Exactly. That's so that's a, more of an all season type tire. Okay. And again, that applies to four wheel drive and all wheel drive vehicles. So if you're not required to have. Okay the winter tires on your all-wheel drive, on your four-wheel drive vehicle. So we have a little bit of time left. Quickly, the quarter test for people to check the tread depth on their tires at home if they need to. Yep, quarter test. If you take a quarter and you, you insert it into the ribs, there's typically three, sometimes more ribs on your tires. You insert it into any one of those ribs and any part of the tread pattern touches Washington's head, you're good to go. <laughs> nice work. But also, this Saturday, Yes. Um, from 11 to 1 at the Vail Police Department in the municipal parking lot. You guys will be doing this for people with an actual tread depth gauge. Absolutely. So if people want to find out more about it, um, they can show up there between 11 and 1, right? Absolutely. We'll be there myself and the State Patrol is going to be there as okay. well. Oh, good. It, there's no, no uh, reason not to come by and get, and get a check. We're happy to answer your questions as well. Thank you. Absolutely. Good to see you. Likewise. That's good information about your tires, the traction law, and also Operation Tread Safe, the campaign, and so much more. You want to get your tires checked on, October, on November the 5th from 11 to 1. we got weather coming up next.